What is up, Bill here, and in this video I am going to show you how I use Google AdWords to promote my drum covers and other videos. Stay tuned. Alright, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by to check out this video. If you produce drum covers or other videos on YouTube and you've always wondered how to use Google AdWords, this video is for you. Um, I have used Google AdWords since pretty much the inception of my channel. Um, I found it to be effective. Um, did it happen overnight? No. Um, it's taken time. It's like a snowball effect. It started out slow. Um, trial and error, figuring out what works and what doesn't. Um, one thing about Google AdWords, I'll say before I get started, is that you want to set up your campaign well before you release your video. Lately, over the last few months, it's been maybe five or six hours and uh, campaigns are approved. Each campaign that you set up has to be approved. Um, there's been times in the past where it's taken three, four, five, six days for a campaign to get approved. So I usually set up my campaigns a week before I launch the cover because when I launch the cover and make it go live, that's when I want to start uh, premiering it on Google AdWords. So keep that in mind. Uh, you need to set up your campaigns well in advance before you release your videos. Um, like I said, it doesn't, you might not see instant results. It's taken time, trial and error. And I'm going to show you what works for me and how I've been doing it for probably the last year with good success. With that, let's jump right in. We're going to go right to the screen. Um, and uh, at that point, you can follow me along uh, on the screen as well. Here we go. All right. As you can see here already, um, I've got the last week, last seven days up. Um, I've got the last seven days showing right now, and there's two campaigns here. Uh, one being Shame on the Moon, which I released last weekend, Sunday. Today is, what is today? The uh, 26th of August, um, Wednesday. So I released Shame on the Moon last Sunday. I've got Roll Me Away already set and ready to go for this weekend because I'm concluding my Bob Seger series with Roll Me Away. So this one's already in and ready to go. It's paused right now. Um, as you can see, the campaign has been approved, um, except for Russia. I don't know why it's not allowed in Russia, so the ads will not appear in Russia. I haven't seen this happen on a video before. Um, but for some reason, um, Bob Seeger ads are not welcome in Russia. So in any event, you can see, um, I usually run them for two or three days. Um, you can see Shame on the Moon, uh, both are video discovery ads, which is what I always go with. Uh, 27,145 impressions brought in 900 views uh, with a view rate of 3.32%, which is actually pretty darn good. Um, if we go into, uh, well, there's really not a lot to see going in. That, that's going to take me right to the uh, cover. Um, if we go into the ad, basically what I'm going to do when I launch, um, I'll go into the campaign and start rolling it. Uh, uh, as you can see up at the top of the screen here, none of my ads are running. All your campaigns and groups are paused or removed. Um, so there's nothing running right now. I was happy with the 900 views and the response I was getting on the uh, uh, Shame on the Moon cover so I was pretty happy with that so I stopped it I paused it after a couple of days I think it was three days um, one thing I've noticed about using Google AdWords is that not only do you gain views but you gain engagement as well I see comments constantly that oh wow your video popped up in my feed I'm glad I did I liked and subscribed at great work you know things like that so I know that it's generating comments and more importantly, it's generating subscribers. Um, for the last year, I have typically averaged 70 
I'd say maybe 40 to 70 subscriptions per cover, uh, which is pretty average. Now I do not use I do not use uh, AdWords on my shout outs. Um, I do on some other special videos like contests or some interviews I have run campaigns for. Um, shout outs I do not. My average view time on uh, these campaigns is 70 to 90 percent, which is really good. Um, so the people, what I like about Google AdWords is that people are actually clicking on a link to watch the video. So I have found that using a colorful uh, uh, thumbnail for the ads and a descriptive uh, comment, you know, exactly what it is. A drum cover, name of the song, artist, uh, might use quality drum cover or high quality drum cover. Um, and it works. People are clicking on it. Uh, 900 people clicked on this um, over a two-day period. Uh, 900 people clicked to watch. Um, I'd like to get that view rate higher, but you really don't have a lot of control over that. If people like it, they're going to click on it. Um, I have seen lower. 3% is about average for me. Now, if we go look at Shame on the Moon, a lot of people are saying, okay, so what did that cost you? Um, what did that cost you? Well, let's go look. 27,000 impressions, 900 views, 3.32% view rate, average cost per view, one cent. Okay, $10.06 earned those 900 views. And out of that, probably 50 subscribers. Uh, not to mention comments, engagement, likes, dislikes, uh, comments, anything that takes place on a video is considered engagement. Be it good or bad, it doesn't matter. Somebody dislikes it, well, somebody watched it and they engage. That's engagement. That's a good thing. So, there you have it. I ran it for two or three days. I don't remember exactly how many days I ran it, but I probably cut it off Tuesday. I was launched Sunday morning. Ran it all day Sunday, all day Monday, probably into Tuesday, and then shut it down uh, at 900 views. And that video, if I'm not mistaken, has about 3,200 views. So, what that tells me is that a lot of people that are subscribing to the channel are coming back each week to look at videos, which is important. You want people to keep coming back. That's the whole idea. And that's what starts building views. So, $10.06, 900 views. Every single one of them clicked on by somebody who wanted to see it. That's important. Um, and if they like the video, you start building average view time, which, like I said, mine has been 70%, 90%. Now, on the shout-outs, the shout-outs are absolutely killing my view time. I mean, I don't think a lot of people even watch me just drop down to the description, click on the link, and, I mean, I'm averaging like 20 or 30 seconds on, on uh, shout-outs. But... It's helping people, so I'll take the hit on my average view time as long as the shout-outs are still helping people, which it seems they are. Anyhow, let's go back to campaigns, and I'm going to set up a new campaign. All right, click on the Create Ad, and... Oh, uh, why isn't it letting me add? Oh, uh, okay. Where do I go to add? Usually you click on that and it will, you can create a, okay, new campaign. Here we go. From the main page overview, go to new campaign. And what I have done is I've already cut and pasted the video URL of the next cover I'm going to do, which is a Brian Adams cover. Um, so I've already copied and pasted it. Now you see that you have some options here. What are you looking to do? Um, get people to visit your website, product brand consideration, lead sales, brand awareness, app promotion. What I typically do is I click on create a campaign without a goals guidance. That's just what I do. Now, from this point, I want to reach and I want to engage viewers on YouTube and across the web. So that is the next thing that I click on. And I will go with typically a custom video campaign you can choose anything that you want here depending on the type of ad that you want but i go with custom video campaign each time um 
I like video discovery ads. They seem to work the best for me, which you'll find in custom video campaign. We'll click on continue. And <clears throat> now uh, what I will do is I will name it. Uh, I'm going to call it Brian Adams because that's the cover. That's what the cover is going to be. And this is your campaign total. Now you can put whatever amount you want in here. I typically put $20. Will I run the whole $20? Probably not. Like you saw in the last video, I ran up to $10.06. Um, what date do I want to start it? Um, well, uh, I want to start it on, I want to start it on August 30th, which is Sunday. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and change this to August 30th and select an end date. Uh, well, we're already going into September. Insane. Where did this year go? Uh, I'm going to run it to like maybe a third Thursday. Like I said, you can put anything you want there um, because you can pause the ad anytime that you want to. You have total control. Now, I go with all countries and territories, um, all languages. I don't discriminate. Any viewer that likes what they see and they want to click on it, bring it on. Uh, so I go with all, all languages, all territories. You can select United States, Canada if you want, or you can custom uh, choose any country that you want. But for me, I always go with all countries, all territories. I want everybody to see it. Uh, well, except Russia. Russia's not going to see Bob Seeger. I don't know what will happen with this one. This is Brian Adams. Um, standard inventory, I'll leave that alone. Um, ad group name, I'm going to change that to Brian Adams. Okay, so we've got demographics, any age, any gender, any parental status, any household income, uh, any audience, doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times I leave these blank. Um, I don't even put anything in keywords. A lot of people think that keywords are really, really, really important. I leave them blank. I want them to come up. I want my add to show up on anything so I just leave it blank I don't put anything there um, I usually put five cents maximum uh, let's try that again I usually put zero five, five cent maximum click per view uh, I don't think it's rarely ever there's been some videos where it did go up to that and there's been some videos that did extremely well that I actually came back in and changed that and upped it um, at this point it's going to want to know your video URL as I mentioned I've already copied pasted it straight from the heart Brian Adams there it is it's already there um, I go with video discovery ad um, the thumbnail it usually pulls my thumbnail that I use in my videos which it did there as you can see um, see it colorful nice and colorful people seem to like that other than I mean I've tried I've had less uh, clicks on just plain black or videos with a lot of graphics on it uh, people seem to skip so now it's going to ask for a headline this is important um, again I'm going to go with quality drum cover of Brian Adams hit um, straight from the heart straight from the heart uh, and that's it I don't get real fancy as you can see here you've got up to a hundred uh, you can use a hundred characters I rarely go more than 60 characters or so I don't want people to get lost in reading a description um, or a headline I just want them to see the thumbnail say oh Brian Adams oh that song I like and hopefully they'll click on it um, description these are pretty short 35 characters um, so with that I'm going to go uh, drum cover of Brian Adams hit and I've used 30 characters and down here I'm just going to put the name of the song this is the way I always do it uh, and that's it. At this point, you can name your ad. Um, 
I'm going to call it straight from the heart. I usually name them uh, the song so it's easy for me to identify. Straight from the heart. Okay. So now basically, um, it's giving you an idea over here if you come to this side, estimated performance. Now this goes on, they base this on my prior ads that I've run with them. I mean, they track this. You can track everything in Google Ad Campaigns, which I really like. So they're saying that I should gain 1.2 to 3.7K views with 43 to 150,000 impressions right here. So average cost per view, one cent to two cent. Budget spend, 95 to 100%. That's if I go with the full $20. Um, I probably won't. Like I said, if you've done this for a long time, I've been doing this for three years, probably two and a half years, you build a following and the people keep coming back to watch. And it, like I said, it doesn't happen overnight. You got to be patient. Spend a few dollars if you're serious about promoting your site and growing your site. This is the best way that I have found. And I have tried a lot of ways, believe me. Um, this is the best way I have found to gain traffic, and you can see right here, it's estimating one, uh, 1,200 to 3,700 views. Um, but I'm not going to spend that whole $20. I'll probably stop it at 10. I might gain 1,000, 1,500 views from this, and the rest of their views, or the rest of the views are just people that keep coming back. So once you create the campaign, uh, click the button, and my campaign is ready to go. Um, as you can see, congratulations, your campaign is ready. So it will take a few days for it to be approved. Uh, lately, it's been a few hours. Um, so if you go to the campaign, um, the first thing I do is pause it. I don't want it to run. Um, and as you can see, it shows up as video discovery. While you pause it, it will still be approved. Don't worry about that. Um, so it's ready. My ad's ready. Um, I'm going to go back to overview or ad groups rather and uh, campaign pending. You can see right there is pending. So it'll take a little while for it to be approved. But by the time I launch the video next Sunday, it'll be approved and ready. So there you have it in a nutshell. Um, I've got uh, three going now. They're all paused, and it's telling me up here none of your ads are running, which is fine. I'm, I'm good with that right now. Um, so that's in a nutshell. Um, as you can see, it has not been approved yet, so it will probably in four or five hours will be ready to go. But I'm not launching this until next Sunday, so i got plenty of time. But anyhow, that is it. That is what I do. Um, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps. If you have any questions at all, please drop them in the description below. I will be more than happy to answer them um, as they appear. I apologize for the lighting here. I didn't set any lights up. I'm in my office where I do all my editing, and I just didn't feel like getting any lights out. It was a crazy day. So with that, thank you again. If you have any questions, drop them below and I will get to them. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I hope it helps. We'll catch you next time. Peace.